Pisces, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for my spicy Pisces? What's up? What's going on? Show me that Piscean energy. What is going on? Show me Pisces, please. What's up? That's interesting. What's going on? It's an interesting feeling for you. What is that? <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'm into that. Yeah, so if somebody is making brownies or you're eating one, what's up? Share. <laughs> Don't bogart the brownies, bro. I have an address. Send me some. <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. Oh, I love a good brownie. Okay, we're going to start off with some oracle cards today. Take what resonates, if it is not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. It's normal and portions resonate. Sometimes a great deal, sometimes none whatsoever. Collective readings equals collective application. It may or may not apply to you. In which case, I know that's frustrating. Check your other placements or I'll have to catch on the next one. That's it. Okay. We well, looks like we're a little crooked today. I hate that shit. What's going on, please? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if you can tell, but it, it bothers me. And I, <laughs> it does. It bothers me. What, what does Pisces need to know? What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Running. Somebody might identify with uh, running. You might be a runner. The person you're connected to might be a runner. It could be that simple. But uh, there's also this thing of ghosting, disappearing. Somebody went quiet. I don't know what's going on there. Somebody might have recently ghosted, you might have ghosted, you might have felt ghosted by disappearing, what's going on? Nobody knows. Okay, someone's running away from the connection, they can't handle it, that kind of thing. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What else? What else, please? What else for Pisces, please? Despair, falling apart, feeling sinking and hopeless for the situation or the person. If you're the one who did the running, you might have felt that there was nothing but despair in this connection, so you just walked away from it quietly. For others of you, you feel despair. Someone goes to you without explanation. Some of you feel like um, your connection, there is a relationship here, but it's fading. You know, and you don't know how to fix it. We got some heavy five of cups energy here, honey. What else place for Pisces? We got a silver lining here, Chief. I would appreciate one. That would be nice. <laughs> well, St. Whataburger, honey. You know, I do ask. It never hurts to ask, you know? You won't know until you try that kind of thing, but still. Frozen. Fuck me. Well, no. Somebody feels frozen inside. They can't access their emotions. They're cold. Silence, more silence. They have no words. They have no words. There's no incoming or outgoing communication. Fuck. Hmm. I know a lot of you are going to be tempted to wait for an answer. Do keep in mind silence is an answer. If someone's not speaking to you, you have an answer. That doesn't make you feel any better. It's not closure. But it is still an answer. <sighs> loss. If you experience this is underlying, so it's not dominant. But if you experience loss recently, I'm sorry. That would explain the silence. For others of you, let's go. I'll show me what I need to see, please, for Pisces. What's going on? This is the Labyrinth Tarot deck. Absolutely love it. Uh, you will note, though, I'm not shuffling out. As per my usual method, the cards are way too thick to shuffle out naturally or of their own accord. Okay, so I have to use the OG method of split and pull. You split the deck and then you pull from the top. Okay, that is the original way of doing tarot. Everybody's different. I prefer to shuffle out, but not today, guys. Not today. What's going on, please? And the only reason I address it is because people freak out when I change my system. <laughs> There's some folks out there that are a little too observant. <laughs> Somebody once analyzed my hairstyles. I kid you not. They're like, you always wore your hair this way, and now it's this way. That implies this, it implies that, it implies this. Oh, honey, I think you need a hobby. 
<laughs> I think we need a hobby. <laughs> oh, honestly, I actually prefer to have my hair down into the one side. It's the easiest thing to do. You run a brush through it, it's done. It's done. But yeah, I live in Texas. It gets hot. So every now and again, we got it. And also sometimes it just can't be dealing with the wispies, you know, but, but they're like psychologically speaking, they're trying to do a profile on me based on my hair. Some people need a hobby. All right, recent past judgment. Okay, current. Six of Swords, trying to make the active decision to move on, your energy. Three of Wands, waiting. If you're waiting for confirmation or closure, I'm gonna tell you right now, silence is an answer. They have no intention of giving you one, Nine of Wands. They block it. Never wait on anybody, ever, unless you have damn good reason to, or you have proof. If you're already offended by that notion, I would never wait, I'd never wait, then this reading obviously does not apply to you, don't worry about it. It's not a pride thing, it's a human instinct thing. I care about this person, I haven't heard from them, I don't have a reasonable explanation for the reason why I feel the way I do, thus I'm waiting for an explanation. That's what most people go through, that's normal. What's not normal is the ghosting thing, unless you have damn good reason to. Like nothing changes, if somebody has a chronic behavior pattern, that's also what that could be, negative chronic behavior pattern, then you have damn good reason to ghost. Nothing will ever change. So, sometimes it's warranted, sometimes you just know something's never going to change or somebody will never change. It doesn't matter. So why do you continue to engage in it? Something like that. Ace of Swords. Two of Cups. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Windows is agitated, Knight of Wands. Just to let you know, there's either a new connection here or you will be reconciling with this one. I don't know. Advice. Five of Pentacles, disconnect. So if there's an opportunity to reconnect with this person, it's probably, yeah, there's some love here, but also a great deal of heat. So if they choose to reconnect with you, it's probably for the wrong reasons. Five of Pentacles, disconnect. Overall, the Knight of Cups, what is your emotionality telling you? That you have other options in love? This person is not the end-all be-all. Okay. I think I see a story unfolding here. Oh, I know there's love here. But this is the most basic form it can take. I have feelings for you, you have feelings for me. Yeah, they want to reconcile, but it might be for all the wrong reasons. Let's see. Your advice is literally five of pentacles to abandon this. If they can abandon you so easily, right? and then try to re-emerge into your life so easily. Reverse energies as it applies. Pisces gets as many complaints as Taurus does, or as Scorpio does. I swear, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, we get the most hardcore cross-watchers, I swear. It's that Pisces fault, it's that Pisces fault. Well, there you go. I'm talking to Pisces directly because it's their reading. So if you see yourself in it and it's the reverse, then you already know the truth for you, okay? There's bad apples in every barrel, baby. That doesn't mean they spoil the whole damn bunch. All right? I have a viewer that reminds me. I have a regular viewer. I've thought about blocking them a thousand times. But seeing their comments kind of amuses me in its weird way. <laughs> they absolutely hate Scorpio. They hate Scorpio. They hate Scorpio. I hate Scorpio. I hate Scorpio. I hate Scorpio. And then yet every week, there they are, cross-watching like a hawk. That bastard, that son of a bitch, that asshole, that this, that that. They can't stop. They just can't stop. Some people love to hate. But more to the point, as much as they scream they don't care, they don't care, they've moved on, clearly they haven't. <sighs> you know? It amuses me and it also makes me sad. No. There are some 
bad apples in every barrel, but that doesn't mean the whole damn bunch is spoiled. All signs have pros and cons. No exception. No exception. All right. So, cross watchers. Be prepared. You might see yourself in this and not in the way you like. Your energy contributes regardless, so be aware of how your energy is contributing. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please, for Pisces? What's going on, please, for Pisces? I'll tell you what, though, Taurus, the reigning champ. <laughs> for those negative comments, Scorpio, and then you. <laughs> Judgment, please. Okay. Boom. Five of Pentacles. Somebody made the active decision for abandonment. Why? I mean, the reasons are the reasons are, but I'd like to know. Why? Why? They didn't want to commit. Okay. The hair phone. They did not want to commit to something greater, something of a stronger spiritual calling. They didn't want to commit. No commitment. This is non-committal energy. And that's fine. Non-committal energy is fine. That's no judgment. I don't do judgment. It defeats the purpose of tarot. It defeats the purpose of life. Life is diverse. It's meant to be that way. It's only a problem when two people don't agree on it. If you expected commitment and they didn't and they lied, that's on them. If you expected commitment and they told you they didn't want that but you still expected it anyway, that's on you. you. See what I'm saying? Life choices are life choices. We have to choose. And if this person played you an asshole, I said, yeah, I can totally date Pisces for the long term, long term, and they strung you along and they strung you along and their real truth came out to be over time. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. If they told you Pisces, I'm into you, but I'm not going to commit. I'm not into long term. You're like, yeah, yeah, I can totally be on board with that. And you knew from the very beginning that was contrary to what you believed. That's on you. So who is who here? I don't know. But there is a strong sense of loss. Strong. Very strong. Now, it could be I'm looking at a Pisces who was in a relationship and it got broken regardless. Somebody tried to do the commitment thing and failed, and they failed spectacularly. Okay. You let me know as you see fit. I do the real shit. Rainbows exist, so do butterflies, but not unicorns. Real terror reflects real life. And it's best that you share and expect the realism and see the realism instead of, Jackpot, you're totally going to get a million dollars, Pisces, and you're going to have as many lovers as you want. Mwah. Go on, baby. Plenty of shit on that. That, that, that. that shit's a dime a dozen. Mm -mm. They're running despair, frozen from their feelings. That makes all well perfect sense. Running from commitment. There's despair here. Expectations were let down. Somebody was fundamentally emotionally destroyed. Feelings are fr like they have no feelings. They're a monster. They shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Ran away, okay? Ran away from the feelings, okay? So now we are stuck. With the Six of Swords, I gotta move on, I gotta move on, I gotta move on, I gotta move on. Some of the Six of Swords, but it's fucking killing you. Ten of Swords, it's killing them, it's killing somebody. It's killing somebody to try to move on because they don't want to. They don't want to. There's a promise here, a strong expectation, bare minimum, and that expectation was not met. If a promise wasn't broken, then the expectation was broken. Okay? Pain, pain, pain. I don't know how to move forward through the pain. I'm blocked. I don't know how to move forward. I don't. I'm fucking frozen. Okay? You, three of wands. You may or may not be aware that you're waiting from this person, especially if they ghosted or quiet, went quiet on you. They don't talk to you anymore. It's reasonable then, again, your natural inclination might be to wait until you get some closure. Let me tell you something about closure, baby. Closure is no guarantee, guarantee of peace ever. Ever. Is it nice? Absolutely. Does it guarantee your happiness and healing? Nope. The only person who can really heal thyself is thyself. So 
so people will be waiting on closure all their life. What happens when you don't get an apology? What happens when you don't get an explanation? Again, whose responsibility is it to live life at the end of the day? You or theirs. Sometimes your own closure has to be enough, but we'll see. Show me the Three of Wands, please. Show me that Three, okay. You're trying to move forward, the chariot. Your energy's hanging back. It is. It might be that you're waiting for this person to return on the horizon, the chariot. You hope they come back to you. I understand. Let me know if you're dealing with cancer. You know you're meant to move forward. I see the struggle. It's literally here. Six of Swords to the Ten of Swords. You know, intellectually speaking, you're supposed to move on. But it's fucking painful. Okay? In reality, I do believe you're waiting for them to come back. With all that emotional expression of I love you. And emotionally speaking, you know you're meant to move forward. What else, please? What else, please? Page of Cups. Just something. Anything. 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 Any kind of fucking message. Any kind of message. Okay. Alright, let's see this asshole. You care about it doesn't mean I have to. I see what they're doing to you. Why should I care? <laughs> nope. Blockage. Blockage. Why did they block? Let's get to it. You've already done enough caring. I don't have to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. Nine of Wands, please. Show me. Why are they blocking? Why are they blocking Pisces? Why are they blocking Pisces? Why? Fighting Five of Wands. How so? What are they fighting? I don't know why that is very interesting. It could be dealing with Leo. You could be dealing with Sag. Heavy fire energy here. This person... It's like they don't know how to keep still. Their energy is so chaotic. Strength and temperance. Strong-willed, but to what end? And to what cause? And how does that help anybody? Time has passed with this person. And they just can't settle down, man. Their energy's so fucking aggressive. If not outwardly, then inwardly. They got a five of wands crossing the line of wands. Eh. And here's the strength with temperance. It's like... They just can't get comfortable with themselves. They have a lot of strength in their energy, but it's all fucked up and chaotic. It's like, um... The time has passed and they can't calm down. They're so restless. Their energy is so restless and strong-willed. And that's a problem. That's a conflict. When someone is strong-willed and restless, they have nowhere to point their energy. Nowhere to go. They feel like they were cooped up for too long. They don't know how to settle down. They don't know how to calm down. They don't know how to get in touch with that temperance energy. They're on fire all the time. They're combative, argumentative, constantly. unnecessarily prideful. I know what's up, I know what's up, and they're the one that's always arguing. So how can they possibly know what's up? This is that person who loses their shit, man, constantly. And then they're strong-willed about it and they fight unnecessarily. They, they, they engage. This person looks like they willfully engage in constant arguments, constant skirmishes. They pick fights just to pick fights. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But then they think they're being so tough and strong. When really, it's like they just, they like to fight for the sake of it. And if it's not that, their energy is just fucking restless. Like it doesn't know where to point itself. You know? Inside they have big energy. Outwardly, it's immature and combative. It's unfortunate. In other words, I think you fell for this person's potential. Their inside and their outside don't match. They have the potential to be someone who is strong-willed and patient and healing and kind. But really, they're just temper flares that are just flying off. Or they just argue for the sake of it. They get caught up in those little day-to-day -day skirmishes, you know what I mean? And it's like, dude, why can't you just let that go? Not this person. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. 
They're gonna make a meal out of the snack. That's who I'm talking about. Okay, their inside don't match their outside. I think you fell for this person's, again, their potential. All that lovely, warm, protective strength and healing energy. You feel it when this person can actually be quiet, when they can actually be calm, and in a space of loving and protectiveness, that's when you feel it. But their day-to-day -day energy is so restless and combative, it's like, what the fuck am I even dealing with exactly? So that tells me you're into their potential, which is strong, but it's internal. Like their external got clarified by two majors. They're not harmonized. This person is not harmonized. Let me know literally if you're dealing with Leo or Sag. They might be a combo fire. Okay, but that's not really the point. It's like their fire is restless. It's all fire, too. <laughs> it's so restless and not contained and bored. This is what happens when we don't have goals in life. Like, they need to get a job. <laughs> I mean, and if not a job, they need a career. They need some place to focus that shit. Otherwise, they take it out on you. You know what I mean? Um... And I, I, I think you fell for their potential. And it could literally be a Virgo who displays these qualities. I don't know. They're just so disruptive. Their energy is so disruptive. One day they calm and the next day they lose their shit. I don't know what's up with that. You do. You know who I'm talking about. I'm not able to peg the specifics. I know you want them to come back around, even if it's the smallest of messages, even if it's to know that they're okay. Oh, and that breaks my heart, and that's also why I don't really like this person. Um, that they're frozen. They left you with very little to work with, leaving you more questions and, than answers. and Running, restless, despair. And some of you, you're still connected to this person, but it feels like you've been abandoned even in the context of your relationship. Like, you could be listening to this and they're sitting right next to you on the couch and you know exactly who the fuck I'm talking to. Even the disconnect is real. Like, the physical disconnect, you might still be in a commitment with this person. And the, it, it, it's, you just feel like you're running loops with this person over and over again. Everything's frozen, nothing moves forward. All right, let's do it. Show me the Ace of Swords, please, in the future. I might be seeing someone new. Okay. Or not. Truth comes out. Justice with the Tower, I'd like to ask for it. But yeah, disrupting this odd-ass balance, the peace. Disrupting the balance, the peace, the tranquility. I do believe, though, for the majority of you, this connection was cut severely. Show me the Two of Cups. Let's see it. Ah, and now Aries. For some of you, you are dealing with a fire sign, a multi, uh, a multi fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do they want? Well, they want to reconcile with you for a start. It does take you by surprise. You had a certain level of balance or equilibrium in the future, and then boom, here comes this Ace of Swords, which is often reconciliation. It's a truth, and it's a hard one. Also backed up with the Tower. It could be done with Scorpio, uh, Libra, but we also have very strong fire here. Uncoordinated, undirected fire. That makes me nervous. Okay, show me. What do they want? They're going to tell you to some extent that they have healed their cups. Here's why I'm not, there, there's, there's that temperance again. They're going to say something to, and again, Sagittarian energy, heavy fire. I feel better. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm not as down as I used to be. I'm not as much of a bummer. I'm not as bored, disillusioned, disconnected, emotionally speaking. I feel better. I promise, Pisces, I feel better. I love you, two of cups. And uh, I feel better. Personally, I feel better. This conversation will take you by surprise. I'm going to do a time check on this. For some of you, it is the season of Scorpio. For others of you, it's the season of Libra. So that's 9.22. And then right after that is 10.22. So you've got two markers right there. Um, change. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The fertility of this cycle is behind change. Uh, I don't care what they said. 
I know they feel temporarily better, and they're standing in their power as the emperor, but it's insistence again, then I'm right. Remember, this is the person who insists that they're right even while they're fighting useless little battles. So how right can they possibly be? They don't know how to let shit go. Now they're in your face and as the emperor, saying, I'm healed, I feel better, I love you. Oh, and P.S. the Knight of Wands is behind them. Now, I never assume fuckboy or fuckgirl energy when I say the Knight of Wands, nor should you. I pull it all the time because it's my natural energy flow. Okay, it says, go get shit done. That's what the Knight of Wands actually is. And that's that energy that says, get out, go, take care of shit, be on point, get on top of your business, do, go, 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 go. That is what our natural energy should be. If that's the pace you feel comfortable, that's the pace I feel comfortable. Other people pull Knight of Cups, other people pull Knight of Pentacles and so forth. That's the difference. However, in this context with a little bit of love, Pisces, I'm sorry, I've healed, I feel better. You're totally taken by surprise. I promise you right now, I promise you, they got that Knight of Wands behind them too. Yeah, okay, honey. They want to see you again to get laid, to get their pleasures met. So in this context, for one of the first times in a long time, I'm actually seeing the Knight of Wands as, yes, it's fuck energy. This person's insisting that they're feeling better. Oh, good for them. That doesn't really help you, but I see some sort of half-assed explanation of that they were in a bad place and uh, they didn't mean to do it and I'll never ghost again. And But I promise you, honey, this person has, I want to see you for my own indulgences. Over the Knight of Wands, it's pretty clear what they want. They're going to come across as Big Daddy. They are. I think they might even believe it because <laughs> they haven't pulled the moon once or the Seven of Swords once. I think they actually believe it. Like, that's how stubborn and insistent this person is. They actually think they're right. So they're going to do a damn good job of trying to convince you, baby, but I promise you what, there's not much enthusiasm behind it with that Four of Cups. They're just basically saying, I was in a bad place, I feel better. Sorry about that, Pisces, my bad. Okay? You're over here devastated, crushed by this. The abandonment's real, the pain is real, and they're like, I'm much better now, Pisces, I'm in a better place, that's my bad. Can I get a blowjob? That's pretty much how it's coming across. Oh, P.S., I still love you. Yeah. We got two cups there, right? Two cups is the most basic, I love you, you love me energy. Honestly, I'm not impressed with it, because you can have a two cups with your neighbor down the street. Okay. It's the most basic exchange you can achieve. Your advice is five of pentacles. Don't give this person a second fucking chance. That's not me, honey. That's the cards. But also, if I was telling you, yeah, Pisces, I would strongly suggest that this second chance is ill-advised. And it's going to kill me because I know some of you are going to take it, man. I, they're going to come across as this big daddy. I'm confident. I know what's going on. Energy. I know what's up. I know it's disorganized and chaotic over here. Don't look at that. Look at these. this cup I'm giving you. Look at this flirt I'm giving you. Look at this fabulous, sexy energy I'm giving you. And you're going to be like, oh my god. That's for some of you. But baby, don't forget the pain. There is nothing wrong with a good fuck. I have no problem with that. Fuck around energy, fine, so long as you're in agreement in it. Like I said, if you choose to reconnect with that person in that way, you keep your expectations in place. They might be a good fuck. I don't know. They seem to be thinking that they are. Okay. But you just remember everything you went through back here. When they come back around, and they will. Do not get your hopes up. Your advice is Five of Pentacles. Abandon this shit. They did it to you, you do it to them. You don't have to humor them. You know that, right? You don't have to listen to this person at all. Show me this Five of Pentacles. I don't give a shit what two people do so long as they are consent. Withhold. 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 Also have the confidence to withhold the five and four pentacles equals nine confidence. Have the confidence to withhold. Withhold, that is your physical energy. Withhold, do not give, do not give, do not give. You might listen to this person because honestly, I, I see the conversation happening. But do not engage with the physical energy. Withhold it. 
you know with that is going to come an emotional stamp. Okay, so again, if you do not want to have sex with this person, do not withhold. It will be at cost to you and your emotions, and more importantly, your expectations, which were already severely let down the first time. Okay? Yeah. All right. And speaking of knights, your overall energy is the knight of pots. That's your cups. That is your overall energy pace, as I was saying, as mine, for an example. Mine is the Knight of Wands. I have very fast-moving energy. I get shit done. Yours is a little more relaxed with that water, right? It's also a little more romantic. It's a little more feeling-based, right? I tend to live a lot more in the moment. That's what it is to be fire. And coming from a water perspective, it's as you feel it. So if you don't feel correct about it, then it's not correct. You have to trust that. Oh, P.S. That's also one of your cards. So... What you feel is correct is correct. All right, show me that Knight of Cups, please. Show me the Knight of Cups, please. Your overall is that you want a stability of personal happiness, Four of Wands, all right? Overall, you're working very hard to get in a better place from where this person left you. I see that they are doing a damn good job of justifying their side of the fence, but did they even ask you? By the way, how'd you experience that? <laughs> It seems to be a one-sided conversation. Another little red flag there. You want to bring that happiness together. You want real romance. You want proper mirroring. And you want to start over with somebody else. Again, it's not just reconnection three cups. It's also connection. You want to bring it all home. You want to bring your romantic energy, excuse me, home. Your four of wands connectivity and your three of cups energy together. And it's not with this person. Overall, you're just starting to open up again. Overall, you're starting to feel a little bit more inclined, and I swear to God, man, that's another thing too. So if you're on social media and you're putting it back out there, you know, oh, I'm seeing people again, this is great, or I just joined Match.com and it's been interesting, you know, or I met up with old friends, uh-huh, guess who's checking that shit out? Okay. Um, oh, because this is, your energy's opening up in very small but positive, manageable ways. Okay. So it might be attracting this person back around. Do not give out your physical energy, that's very strong. Withhold, withhold, deny, access denied. Okay, I might call your video that, see? Your energy overall is picking up, so for some of you this has already been there, done that, all right? Overall your energy is picking up. Your confidence is coming back, your willingness to, your willingness, three cups, socializing. Your willingness to socialize is coming back around. Your willingness to try to find happiness and mirror with somebody is coming back around. You have to trust that instinct. You have to trust that instinct. Starting over energy. Basic hopes. Basic feelings. Basic fire. Basic, some of you just got to that place where you start to socialize and see other people again. Okay, so you've got to trust that. I'm going to do a time check on that. Oh, for, I was about to say, for some of you, June... All right, but very strong lover's energy there. King of Cups, that's what you want. You want a stronger lover. This is not a lover. This is someone who thinks they throw good dick. And maybe they do throw good dick. Good on them. Or badge, whatever. The point is, it's not for you. Not that I see. That's an energy contradiction. All right. All right. Like I said, I got nothing against a good fuck. But expectations should not be put on this person. Okay, so it's looking like many of you have been there, done that already. You might already still be in this process of struggling to move forward. You're trying to be strong. A part of you still kind of hopes that they'll drop a message, come back around. They're not. Not for a while. They do eventually, but let's take a look at that. When does this person come back around, please? When does this person come back around, please? Show me when. Seven for some of you. July. It could be the 7th of any given month. It could be 7 days from now, 7 weeks from now, 7 months from now, or July. Okay? What else, please? Any other time frames for this person's energy? The next water season. The next water season, like I said, is Scorpio. That, is, that starts uh, October 22nd. The next one after that is your season. So around your birthday month. FYI. Okay? Uh, what else, please? Any other time markers for the re-entry on this? For some of you, it's already occurred. September. Okay. Again, for many, July. You just, you're not going to see it coming. It's basically, the major point here is whenever you decide to move on with your life, that's when they try to come sneaking back. 
So again, there's that basic hope I see for you. You're starting to feel better. You're starting to socialize again. You, you have basic hopes and expectations for meeting somebody, and I like it. You're dating, in other words, okay? And that's when they come sneaking back. So be careful about what it is you put online. Okay, so I think the better question is, when do you start to feel better? When does Pisces start to feel better? When does Pisces start to feel better? Okay, in a month. And then uh, for some, because cup does mean month traditionally, but it also could mean new year, January. That would actually make sense. New year, new you, that kind of feeling, right? The renewed sense of hope, new year, new person, new relationships. That actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, any other time markers for when Pisces feel better, will feel better? <laughs> Not till seven again. And for others, that could be a week, that could be seven weeks, that could be the seventh again. July is a heavy marker for some of you. Okay, anything else, please? We gotta wrap this up. Anything else, please? Some of you fall. Also confirmation that you are dealing with Taurus. You might have some Taurus in your chart. But the greater extent of the thing is fall. All right, when the harvest is high. All right? Okay. Any th okay, that, that, that's it. All right, Pisces, I think we have enough here. I am sorry, it was so damn difficult. Just please know that they will come back around. Um, and it's for very selfish reasons. They only seem to be interested in expressing their side of the equation so that they can get what they want from you. Your advice is to withhold. Okay. I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.